Hey everybody, welcome back to Instinct Bass and thanks so much for being here. In this video, we're going to be doing a short unboxing and install type uh, video for the Ionic lithium charger. I've got the 36 volt on one side and 12 volt on the other. Stay tuned. I think you get some good, useful information out of it. Thanks for being here. Real quick, before we get started, I want to take a minute and tell you to be sure to check out our new partner for 2024, and that is the GPSstore.com. Based out of North Carolina, the GPSstore.com has been around for 25 years, and whether you're looking for the latest fish finder, trolling motor, or other GPS-based product, they simply have some of the best prices anywhere you can find. Throw in free two-day shipping on thousands of items, and there isn't a better place to purchase marine electronics. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check them out as it's a great way to support the channel and get a great deal on a new piece of gear. The GPSstore.com. Freedom to explore, discount prices, exceptional service. All right, so I recently upgraded my trolling motor battery to one 36 volt lithium ionic 50 amp hour battery and I needed a charger for it. And so I got this one. This one, what's cool about it is instead of the four bank charger, this is basically just a two bank charger one side will control or uh, charge the 36 volt lithium ion battery and the other one will charge the 12 volt battery which currently is just a normal uh, wet cell battery because it's fairly new i didn't want to replace it yet and frankly it didn't have the money to so these lithium batteries are not cheap i do think they're better in the long run but they're certainly not cheap to get started so this one comes with the uh, two leads on each side and the plug and then it's also got some extra fuses and the mounting hardware all right so this right here is the charger that we're going to be replacing this is a Minn Kota digital charger that was on the boat when i bought it um, it's been on here for a good two and a half years since i've had the boat and i haven't had any issues with it whatsoever i'll probably just end up selling it on on marketplace or something but i did need a new charger since i'm going to be charging now a 36 volt lithium ion battery from Ionic. Uh, really looking forward to getting this battery out on the water and testing it and seeing how it works with the new force trolling motor that we installed recently on the front of the boat. And so one thing that we needed to do when we're um, removing this old charger is that I, I want to be able to plug in the new charger just you know the same way I did the old one. So I'm going to have to remove this um, three prong plug and go ahead and attach it to the new uh, battery charger cable which means I'm gonna have to cut that cable so that, that's kind of <laughs> nervous about cutting a brand new battery charger cable but it's, it's something that's got to be done they're not too hard to do but it's just uh, you know the best way to do it this is a shot of the newer charger right next to the older charger you can see how much smaller and more compact that more powerful newer technology is than the older one Okay, so I went through a few considerations before figuring out which orientation, which way I wanted to put the new charger. And this is what I settled on. Um, excuse how dirty this build is, by the way. But um, I settled on having the 36 volt lead come off to the left, going towards the 36 volt battery, naturally. And then the 12 volt lead coming off to the right, right next to that cranking battery there. And what that'll do is allow the charging plug to come around the charger just a little bit and then it'll come up through that hole where the old one was and then we'll cut off this plug here attach the wires to that that prong that I showed earlier and then we'll just reattach it to the boat and we'll be able to charge the new batteries the same way as I was able to charge the old ones just by plugging in the extension cord to the back of the boat like so and in case you all are wondering that is dirt from the headwaters lake road it's a big gravel road and it gets your boat filthy and here we go this is just a shot of the battery now that it's plugged in we see we got a red light on the left which just means that it is charging that new battery and then green on the right means that the cranking battery is already charged and one thing cool about this system is that you can download a, the uh, ionic app and you'll be able to see what percentage your batteries are. Now, lithium batteries always ship um, at about half charge, so that's why this one was there at 47%. But it's charging now, and I'm um, looking forward to getting it on the water. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.